Hello and Assalamu Alaikum. I hope that each and every one of you will be doing great. So in this part of the lecture, I will be discussing about the greenhouse effect and the runaway greenhouse effect. Greenhouse effect is due to uncontrolled greenhouse gas emissions which include carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide and nitrogen gas oxides emission. These oxides basically block uh, the earth's uh, heat radiation uh, to go back into the environment and the heat is eventually trapped inside the earth's atmosphere and the uh, environment becomes hotter. So this is a brain teaser. We all know uh, that in solar system uh, mercury is near to the sun but Venus is far away from it. Mercury, Earth, then there is Venus in the solar system. The uh, temperatures at Mercury is about 800 degree Fahrenheit or 427 degrees centigrade, whereas the Venus is at 864 degree Fahrenheit or 462 degree centigrade. So, as uh, we think that because the mercury is closer to the earth, it should have been warmer, but uh, on the contrary, Venus is uh, hotter as compared to earth and mercury. This effect is due to runaway greenhouse effect. A runaway greenhouse effect occurs when a planet's atmosphere contains greenhouse gas in a uh, amount that is uh, sufficient to block the thermal radiation that is being uh, emitted from the planet. So this effect prevents the planet from cooling and having uh, liquid water on its uh, surface areas. A runaway version of greenhouse effect can be defined by a limit on the planet's outgoing long wave radiation which is asymptotically reached due to higher surface temperature boiling a uh, condensable uh, water into the atmosphere increasing its uh, optimal uh, depth, uh, depth. This uh, positive uh, feedback means uh, that uh, the planet cannot cool down on its own through long wave uh, radiation via uh, Boltzmann law and it continues to rise its temperatures until it can radiate outside its absorption bands. The runaway greenhouse effect is uh, often formulated with water vapors and carbon dioxide that reaches the uh, stratosphere uh, of the planet and escapes into the space via hydrodynamic escape resulting in uh, a desiccated planet. This may have uh, happened in the early history of Venus as uh, researchers uh, have explained. So the physics of uh, the runaway greenhouse effect is that the runaway greenhouse effect is often formulated in terms of how the uh, surface temperature of a certain planets uh, change with uh, differing amount uh, that uh, it received in starlight or sunlight. If uh, the uh, planet is assumed to be uh, a radiative uh, to be in uh, radiative equilibrium then the runaway greenhouse effect state is calculated as the equilibrium state at which water cannot exit in exist in uh, its uh, liquid form the water vapor is then lost to space through hydrodynamic uh, escape in uh, uh, radiative equilibrium a planet's ongoing long wave uh, radiation 
must uh, balance the incoming uh, stellar flux. The Boltzmann law is an example of uh, a negative uh, feedback that uh, stabilizes uh, certain uh, planets climatic uh, system. If Earth received more sunlight, it would result in a temporary uh, uh, disequilibrium and uh, means that more energy will be absorbed uh, as compared to the energy that is being radiated in the form of heat more energy in and more energy out it will uh, cause in sphere uh, warming or global warming however because uh, the uh, Boltzmann uh, response mandates that uh, this hotter planets uh, emit uh, more energy eventually a uh, new radiation balance can be reached and the temperature will be maintained and its uh, new higher uh, value Positive climatic uh, change feedbacks uh, amplify changes in the climatic system and can uh, lead to the destabilization effect for the climate. An increase in uh, temperature from the greenhouse gas uh, leading to the increased uh, water vapors uh, density causing further warming is uh, known as positive feedback but uh, not a runaway effect on earth uh, positive feedbacks are uh, common but uh, runaway uh, greenhouse effects uh, do not uh, necessarily emerge uh, from their presence through uh, the these water vapors uh, play a major role in the process the runaway greenhouse effect uh, uh, in the uh, is not a uh, basic uh, result of uh, water vapor feedback a runaway uh, greenhouse uh, effect involving uh, carbon dioxide and water vapors uh, may have occurred on Venus. Uh, Venus it has been reported in uh, research in this scenario early Venus uh, might have global ocean and the outgoing thermal radiation was uh, below the uh, uh, defined limits but above the uh, greenhouse uh, uh, moist limits as the brightness uh, of the early sun uh, increased the amount of water vapors in the atmosphere increased due to evaporation and increasing in the temperature and consequently increasing the um, greenhouse effect uh, uh, which uh, uh, leads to uh, uh, a higher uh, temperatures and eventually uh, boiling all the oceans into uh, water vapors and all the uh, water vapors enter the atmosphere this scenario uh, help to explain why there is uh, little water vapor in the atmosphere of uh, Venus today if Venus initially formed with water the uh, runaway uh, greenhouse effect would have hydrated Venus's uh, uh, stratosphere and water would have escaped to the scale uh, to the space some evidence uh, for this uh, type of uh, scenario from extremely high uh, hydrogen ratio in the Venus atmosphere uh, is evident roughly 150 times uh, uh, that is present on earth since uh, uh, light hydrogen would have uh, escaped from the atmosphere more readily and uh, it is a heavier uh, isotope uh, known as deuterium uh, venus is uh, sufficiently uh, strongly heated by the sun that water vapor can uh, rise much higher uh, in the atmosphere and be splitted into hydrogen and oxygen by uh, the ultraviolet rays that are coming through the sun the hydrogen can then escape from the atmosphere where the oxygen uh, recombines uh, uh, to the uh, bonds to the uh, metals like iron on the planet surface the deficit of water on the venus is uh, due to the greenhouse effect and it is thought to be uh, to explain why ex venus does not exhibit uh, the surface features consistent with the uh, plate uh, tectonics as in earth's crust 
meaning it would be a stagnant uh, lead planet carbon dioxide the dominant greenhouse uh, gas is uh, current uh, uh, vision uh, atmosphere owes uh, its uh, larger concentration to the weakness of carbon dioxide carbon cy uh, cycle as compared uh, to the cycle of earth where the carbon dioxide emitted from the volcanoes is efficiently subducted into the earth by uh, tectonic plates on geo uh, geologic time scale uh, through the uh, carbon silicate uh, cycle which uh, requires uh, precipitation to function the fate of earth uh, would be same if global warming is not uh, controlled so this is the graph of uh, uh, energy related uh, co2 emissions that have increased uh, 20 almost 25% uh, in non oe cd country but they remain uh, relatively flat in the uh, oecd uh, countries uh, the oecd means organization for economic cooperation and uh, development so this is the uh, 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 graph that is indicating an exponential growth that has occurred from the um, and when the industrial industries were being uh, rev rev uh, revolutionized from 1960 to 2000 the graph shows an exponential increase in uh, temperature uh, anomaly this is the second example in which from 1960s onwards the uh, temperature graph uh, is uh, exponentially increasing and it is uh, due to the effect of greenhouse gases and global warming uh, to mitigate the effects of uh, uh, global warming uh, paris uh, climate agreement was made at being the world's countries uh, bringing the world countries together in the fight uh, against the uh, climatic changes that are uh, being faced due to uh, global warming the long, long term goals of the paris climate agreement are to keep increase in global average warming to well below 2 degrees centigrade uh, above uh, pre-industrial uh, level and to pursue efforts to limit increase to uh, 1.5 uh, degrees uh, centigrade substantially reducing the risk and impacts that are associated uh, with the climatic changes that are affected due to greenhouse uh, gases so uh, in this uh, agreement each country must determine and um, plan and regularly report on the contribution that it is uh, undertaking to mitigate the effects of global warming uh, 175 uh, parties 134 states and uh, European Union signed it the day it was opened for signature United States and China issued a joint statement uh, confirming that both countries would sign the uh, agreement on 1st April 2016 but the Trump administration delivered official notice to United uh, uh, Nations on 4th August uh, 2017 uh, indicating the intention of United States to withdraw from the agreement as soon as uh, legally possible you are free to ask any questions on any medium you may like you may email me or you can contact me teams if you have any confusions related to 